Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Because I'm not really that in the mood to go for the high score back at the course, I think I'm actually going to go to some of those side modes now. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Neil how to play by playing as Neil. How do you like those apples? <laughs> I'll do the go-go gate stuff first because I really like these. Uh, silly straight is first, and as you can tell, yeah, it's silly straight. <laughs> I don't know why they aim me way over there, considering that the center of the fairway is over here, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I missed hit that one a little bit, but I didn't use a power or anything like that, so it's no big deal or whatnot. But anyway, second shot, and as you know with the go-go gates, we gotta try and get power or better while going through all the gates. So... Needless to say, I'm probably going to have a pretty easy time on the early ones, but the later ones, that that could be a whole other spicy meatball. <laughs> like, this one was pretty straightforward. You just play the hole normally, and then you head over to the next hole. This one, we're zigzagging through, and position is key here. So I'm going to try and curve myself around here, and land it so that I can get the ball to end up at an area that's got a straight line to the hole uh, while going through the second gate, of course. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I missed it again, but that is okay, because at least I am not in front of rocks, Neil. <laughs> and yes, this is the character that I've been building. The stats on uh, other modes of the characters are the same as the ones that you've seen in the story mode, so... Yeah, this is the actual Neil that messed up horrendously. But as you can tell, when you've got a different player behind it, well, yeah. <laughs> it makes a whole load of difference. <laughs> there we go. Next up, Barricade Blast. Now, that's a lot of posts. <laughs> um, I don't know, should I like hit him through in one shot? I guess I could. And use the tree to slow me down. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it should work because the leaves are kind of fluffy and then it just goes up Oh, yeah, something like that, I guess then it doesn't go in the rough or anything like that and uh, yeah, That should be good right there a little backspin and It should be just fine. There's no wind or anything. So oh, no, don't hit that front slow. That's gonna yeah Yeah, well, whatever. That's fine. I guess <laughs> And bloop it goes! Woo! Wall woes? This one is, uh... Something, like... Yeah! <laughs> we gotta aim through these two gates that crisscross each other just like this. But I'm pretty sure that just hitting through it normally at this particular pin position to the ocarina will do just fine, I think. And with a little backspin it should hold up nicely. Mm. Yeah, this is looking very nice. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> now you notice that Neil doesn't have the amount of spin that Eli has. Good name of the the stat differentiation and whatnot, but that is okay. I, as I said, I can show you how to use Neil. <laughs> now this one you're probably not gonna get a birdie on, but you might be able to if you should like maybe curve around and hit through both of these at once, but. I don't know if that's... Well, maybe it's possible. I don't... Uh, that's really pushing it. So let's just try and get it to go... Wait, actually, I, I didn't have that at a high enough angle. Uh, you know, at the impact area at the bottom right corner. Let's see here. Well, it is, it is possible to hit through both. Let's just try it for the heck of it. And let's see how it goes. I'm not sure if it'll actually work. Uh, I went through that one. And I went through that one. <laughs> okay. That works. But yeah, you know, normally you're supposed to hit to that little patch of fairway over yeah here, but I I didn't even really need to do that. But I now I have a tree in my way, which I was not anticipating, but that is okay I guess. Because I can still get a par on this. I was just messing around more than anything. So let's see here. If I can get this to do what I want it to do. Nice high trajectory, and nah, it's not gonna be on the green, but it's close. Close enough that I could potentially chip it in. 
How about something like that? I'm not gonna move the cursor or anything like that because of the the wind is with me and oh, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that'll work nicely, actually. Harrowing Hills, and we're off. Uh, two gates. I gotta position myself somewhere. Yeah, somewhere like in front of this one will be good. I think it's gonna end up going through the gate, but it doesn't matter because then you know the gate will already be have passed, but, you know, it's just a matter of I want to get myself in the right position. Uh, no, I didn't go through the gate, but it doesn't matter, because I can get these two in one shot. Because this is what my plan all along... Well, eh, actually, this one's a little tight, so maybe I'll play back away from that one and just hit through the front one that, that's in front of me. There we go. And this one, of course, will not go through it at all. I'm just hitting to go on top of that mound. And there we go. Next shot will be on, and then potentially a birdie. We'll see though. Woo! I underhit that so I didn't put any backspin or anything like that on. I'm just gonna let it roll out. Uh, that might actually work out nicely because of the. Wow! Oh! Because <laughs> there's no wind or anything like that, so. Yeah, always, always a chance I can pitch it in when there's no wind going on. Complete! <laughs> Alright, there we go. That is the Marion course. Let's head over to the Palms course now. And this is where things start to get a little harder. Not that much harder though. There's this little tiny gate over here. And I'm gonna try and hit through it. It's between the palm trees, as you can tell. That Hence the name of uh, this one here. So, yo, there we go. <laughs> oh, I ended up on the slope. Well, I guess that is the risk of having to hit through the gates. Um... Now let's see if I can plop it on anyway. It'll probably be just fine without backspin, because it kneels really high trajectory. Uh, yeah, it'll also, of course, be affected by wind on the, the harder courses where there is wind, like the Lynx and the Mushroom course, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> For now, I'm just gonna keep getting the birdies. So that's another one completes. Which way? Which way? What? So if you look at this, these these are uh, sideways. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't exactly hit through them straight. You gotta hit to the side of them, hit to the other side between two gates, and then to the green to get up and down. So I'm gonna try and land it on this little mound here, because at the very least, if I miss, I'll end up um, on the side of those uh, gates anyway because of the front slope. So yeah, oh this looks pretty good actually. So there we go, and now we gotta zip all the way around. <laughs> and I'll go down to a sandwich I guess. And pitch over to that little portion of fairway down there. Yeah, that should do. <laughs> so as you can tell, uh, they're getting more technical now. So it's a lot harder to actually get birdies. But you know, it is doable if you chip it in from here. But I wouldn't count on it! <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna try to get near enough to the hole, I think. And... Yeah, I'm gonna put a backspin on that, even though I underhit it, because it is gonna come out at a low trajectory. And the wind is with me and stuff like that, so I just wanna control it a little bit, yeah. See, it was underhit, but... I think it would've been off the green if I wouldn't've put the backspin, so... <laughs> and there we go, another one bites the dust, wicked restricted. How restricted is a straight line? Oh, I see. There's, there's trees at the la uh, end of that last one. Let's go a little bit to the left and try and, like, maybe power through and top spin it, maybe, through everything. And, yeah, I know I'm hitting into the trees here, but this this is kind of like pinball wizardry that I got to work with here. Uh, oh, yep, I hit the tree, but it went right through. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now I gotta curve it through the other gates while aiming to the green, preferably. Uh, I think I can get away with, yeah, a 3-iron. Oops. Uh, wait, wait, no. Yeah, something like that, I think. That should be just fine. And super backspin, otherwise it's gonna roll off because it's a low trajectory, yada yada yada. And... Ooh! I was not expecting that. That's why I went so far away from the pin, because it ricocheted off it. But, eh, well, I that's another birdie. <laughs> Regardless, that was a close one, though. Carvin Marvin is next. Um, this one I'm going to want to keep back a bit, 
because if I get too far past that other gate, I'll have to head backwards through it, which would stink. And we always want to advance to the hole, if at, po if at all possible. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to go for here. And let her rip. Well, I already let it rip, but... <laughs> and that's good, I suppose. It's not going to be able to hit to the green, but I can hit around the green. Uh, well, maybe I can't. <laughs> Uh, can I get away with like hitting in the heavy rough over here where there's no trees in my line to the to the pin there? Probably. Uh, I'll go for that. I mean, I, it, it may sound like a bad idea to go to the heavy rough, but since I'm so close to the green, you know, I can just basically play it as a regular pitch shot. Mm -hmm, heavy rough, yada yada yada. Uh, can't do an approach shot. There's too too thick of rough. Got to give it a good swing here. And there we go. Let's see how it turns out. That's actually a pretty good lie in the heavy rough. Uh, it's only minus 1%. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> Was there ever any doubts? Oh, geez, this one's a tricky one. Um, yeah. See that? You see that? I forgot how to do this one offhand, actually. Um, let's see here. I think what I need to do is hit, like, past the green to get through two of the gates, hit back onto the green into the other gates, and then make a long putt back. I think that's how it went. Uh, but we're gonna see here. I'm just gonna let it flow off. Uh, even though the, the, the whole line, the, I, I could actually putt through it if I wanted to, but I just wanna sorta kinda get myself in a more comfy position, I guess you could say here. See, this is what I mean about you gotta give yourself a relatively long shot to do this. Uh, like, back to the hole. So I'm gonna try and get as straight a putt as possible here. And backspin it back to minimize it. Mm, and... Can we one putt? Can we one putt? Yeah, we can one putt. <laughs> and the final one, Riverside Gates. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can, like, go through everything, can't I? I don't even have to stop in front of the... Like, normally, if you don't have that high drive distance, you have to hit here, then through the gates, up here, then to the gate, up next to the green, to the green with a fade or something like that. But in, in this case, I have drive distance that will make it easier. And that's partly why I came to these mini games later on. Not just because, you know, they unlock as I go, because obviously these wouldn't be... Whoa, I hit one. <laughs> because obviously these wouldn't be open if the courses aren't ready to be played or anything like that. So I figured, eh, let's do it later when the characters are all beefed up naturally from the regular old gameplay of the story mode. <laughs> and I got the last one. And sure enough, I'm nice on the flat spot for birdie. And let's plop it in. <laughs> no problem. Woo! And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue the Go Go Gates! I don't know, something about that name makes you want to sing and dance. 